A baby drops out. Three minutes later, it's on its feet finding milk. The mother's cleaned it up within half an hour. And like, I've come down some mornings and I'm going like, who are you? And there's a whole new baby. And it's like, I saw nothing. There's no evidence that a baby was born, but there's a new baby. It's like it was just fell out the sky. So again, this is all about mimicking nature. So what you see with this pen, mm -hmm. this is this, the, the, the flock, flock mobile, mobile 2.0. That's 1.0, that's the original one. This is what we'll sell going forward. You can see it's on bicycle rims. Mm -hmm. One farmer can push all of these sheep to exactly where he wants them. Mm -hmm. It also concertinas, so you can get it through gaps. Mm -hmm. And then also what it does, it's unbelievable, and this was I'd love to say it was by design, but it was more by default. It's something we found out later. When you unclip a corner and you open one side, you can actually close it and push them into a corner. So if you have to do deworming or have a look at the animals, you can really push them into an area that becomes completely manageable. So it's such an incredible tool. And for what it does, it's basically free. It's so, like we've done it so cost effectively. It's not cheap. But like for what it does and how many animals it manages and how little time is required by a farmer to manage those animals, it's an indispensable tool. So this is a very cool thing. I've seen one farmer in a similar system on a bigger farm stagger 20 of these with 20 sheep. So 400 sheep on pasture and, and one herdsman manages those sheep. He just keeps pushing each pen like this. And what that farmer is doing and actually, he, so he's obviously, he's also a regenerative agriculture model. And what he said was happening on his farm was like miraculous. So one thing that would happen after the sheep were in a particular area and he gave it the necessary rest, the cows would come, but not because he put them there. They knew that's where the best grass would be after the sheep had been there. So the, the cows actually have an intelligence and knew that the, that land had been prepped for them and they would go eat that grass. The other thing that happened on his farm is that grasses started to come up that he never knew he had on his farm. So there's a seed bank that is hundreds if not thousands of years old on all of our land. Ooh. And those seeds are waiting for the right conditions to germinate. So if we work with nature, we have no idea what, what value we can unlock in a piece of land. What's the breed or the name of... Uh, it's called a meat master. Meat master. Yeah, it's a very unfortunate yeah. name. And, uh, I wish they'd come <laughs> up with something else. It's a South African breed. They've been bred specifically to be low maintenance. They've been bred specifically for the African context. These are very hardy. They live in the Karoo through very harsh conditions. Okay. They are hair sheep. As much as they look like they got wool, like a dog, they'll shed that now in summer. And the reason again, yes, 80-20 rules applying. Yes, I've lost the, the wool enterprise, but I don't have to shear sheep. Hi.